Well, hell fire. It is Rock the Riff, and I am back with another metal head, Amy. Back with the boys. We're going to get somebody. <laughs> that was a terrible impression. Uh, I've had a few people comment in a bunch of different places. was like, yo, get, get on Burgundy. Check out Burgundy off the new album from Suicide Boys. So just to give, I'll say, I'll say it right here at the start of the video. Uh, any song anybody sees on my channel and or any song anybody wants to request, the best place to do that is the community posts. If you swing over there, you'll see that I have a list up of Metalhead Envy's round five suggestion. If you if you have a request, that's the best place to leave it because. Uh, when I get requests all over everything else, it's hard for me to keep track because I do I do get a lot of requests now. Uh, so, just as a heads up for everybody, uh, I'm excited to check out some uh, some more of the boys. Uh, what little bit I've heard of this record, I have liked. Uh, I can't remember all the songs I've done off of it. I know I've done a, f I think I've done a few off of New World Depression. The Thin Gray Line and Us Versus Them. Both of those were really cool. It looks like Burgundy is the other favorite, according to Apple Music. So, let's dive on in. And the bass is already hitting. Yeah. And always with this found footage. Who does the boy got going around getting found footage of like just crazy or it's not always crazy imagery, but it's like they've employed somebody that has an old nineties camera to get this grainy film and then they cut it together. Which is badass, man. Like uh I like the style of their lyric videos. Man, that beat's fucking bumping. That would be fun. I want to take a machine gun and shoot cars. <laughs> YouTube, don't take that out of context. I just think it would be fun to use old beat up cars as uh, the target. Like, what dude in what dude in the world would not have fun just and watching the car just get demolished? <laughs> Fucking op. That is one of the new slang words that I thought I think is really funny. Took me uh took me forever. Cause my my old lady, my girl, her sister is the first person I ever heard say that. And it was like <laughs> I can't even remember what the context was, but me and my girl or my girl called it too, and she goes, You should hear the things my sister's saying she's got this new word op i'm like what the fuck does that even mean and she's like you know like like rival or uh basically the, you're the bully in your life or some shit like that i'm like op <laughs> that motherfucker's an op <laughs> and then another thing right there what the fuck is that i keep hearing about that shit too that goes to show you how dumb I am and how much I keep up with some things. 
These cars are badass. And I guess, is this Scrim's bar? Because don't normally Scrim be the, they didn't get to sweat up my chest like I'm a bitch pressing. Like he does the little, little bit of the deeper uh, vocal stuff. Off my chest like I'm bitch pressing. I'm big stepping. Jordan Clarkson with the knock I shoot for 30 and that's what my off hand. Walk in it like who let the dogs in. Kill myself before I let him hop in. Bitches begging me to get toxic. Okay, let me go and pull a cup. Mom and dad would if they could. I ain't even mad, they ain't showing up. Thinking body got me choking up. If I love a time to blow it up, pop on some perks till I'm throwing up. The refresh on X like I'm scrolling up. Yeah, I got some moves that ain't close enough. Cuts on my body, no toning up. Ghost that there ain't no disposing of. <laughs> yeah. But the dose is up Fuck affection, I don't cozy up You in my house and that's close enough I got problems with trust I got problems with lust Bitch, that's powder, not dust Whole gang brain fuck Chief I now be the cloak They ain't nothing like us They say, huh, I say what I drank touch, they drank nut They all pussies get touched Turn the out to a slut Turn this block to a blunt Watch my dog, he got flushed Looking at his first dead body Life's too painful and the game will change you Have you saying fuck everybody on Give a fuck what they hear about me. Got a couple killers, cool and Dre round me. Better think twice for you play round me. No guns on me, then I raid county. Cop the Porsche, not the loving now. I'm going to be select Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think Ruby's going to come in and murder the bar. I like the flow of Scream. I like the cadence. I think, uh, I think it fits the track. Because just this is, uh, Anybody that keeps up with any hip hop I do, I like a darker hip hop instrumental. And this shit is is pretty dark. And it's such a fucking bump, bro. Like in my headphones, the bass is doom, boom, boom. So I know, I fucking know, man, if you're listening to this shit on a system with a nice subwoofer. Fuck, man. That, that shit has got to be so good. To the point where. If you ever see anybody riding around in a damn old Ford Explorer, an old 2000s Ford Explorer with a system in it, and they listen to this song, their windows got to be <laughs> rattling like a motherfucker, man. Like, shake out the back glass. But where are we going to go? Where are we going to go with Ruby's Bar? Which... I hope I'm getting that right, man. I know I've done a lot of Suicide Boys, but I still have a hard time knowing for sure which one which one is doing which uh, bar and everything. To me, I'm get, I'm assuming. I think it's a safe bet. I'm assuming that's Scrim doing this first one, and now Ruby gonna come in and put the Jamaican flair on it and. Uh, <laughs> Fuck what they hear about me. Got a couple killers, cool and Dre round me. Better think twice for you play round me. No guns on me, then I raid county. Cop the Porsche, not the love, and now I'll get to randomly select. Damn. Search for drugs and bombs and weapons. Wait a second. No need for aggression. No. Just the common misconception. Betting that the threat of my profession. From their perception of who I am. What made me question who I am. Damn. Rose gold and more than night. Looking like a super side gesture. Damn. Cadence is so good. The first bit was really good, fit the track. But I think I think this I like this a little bit better. It has more of a percussiveness to it. And it it speaks to the prog metal guy in me. If you ever have a chance, you'll listen to uh listen to a band. I've mentioned them a lot here on my channel, Haken. They do a lot of like Haken and Tesseract have this kind of thing where it's like a subdivision of 
the riff or the percussion, the drum side of it and everything. And it just, it does what is being done vocally here. Like that whole, like it just, <laughs> it just fucking hits. It's like a fucking guitar riff, bro. Like, uh, Ruby's vocal line right there makes me want to write a guitar riff that's like, and that's, I think that's why I like the boys so much. I love this style. Not saying, I'm like, I don't know enough about hip hop to know exactly all the influences and everything that goes into spitting a bar and the cadence and everything. But if I relate it to a guitar, it's like a riff that I would like to, like with this kind of beat that we've got going on, what Ruby's doing vocally right there is how I would want to write the riff to chop up into the track and everything. Looking like a suicidal gesture. Knocked her ex boyfriend up, fuck out, just so I could impress him. Fuck him, just so I could undress him. Yeah. Now I'm paying for the full semester. Let that call me professor after with the break of my head, the rough in my success. Strive for the greater and nevertheless. Me and Scrim make it without an investor. Yeah, we survive suicidal adventures. Made the fact that we would never surrender. Huh? Never surrender. And made the fact that we would never surrender. Selling my soul to my dreams and my goals, but I will never stop. Yeah, that line was hard as fuck. There's a demon in me. Help. There's a demon. No, that's the bedlam. So the first one. Yeah, there's a demon in me and I think it might have overstayed his welcome. That shit is fucking hard, bro. Fuck, I like that that line. And I'm not even a lyric, dude. I'm not even a lyricist. That line is fucking hard ass. There's a demon in me and I think it might have overstayed as well. Fuck yeah. There's a demon in me and it's helping me to reach a state of death. Uh-oh, starting these pills like I'm trying to smell. I'm on the clear report from my cerebellum. My worst enemy. Yeah, that was cool too. Declaring war on my cerebellum. Yeah. Too. What the hell is that sample saying? Swing it from the barrel, don't to become a nerd, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is that sample saying? Okay. Alright. Uh, I think it's safe to say I think Burgundy is one of the best tracks I've heard from the boys. I This is what... Because I would consider myself a fan now of Suicide Boys. This is what I would want to be the output from them more often. I think it's a good length, four minutes, 31 seconds. Uh, the beat, the instrumentation is fucking sick nasty. Um, I don't know, yeah, that was a good line. I'm declaring war on my cerebellum. He had some other ones here too. Really, I gotta give MVP to 
to, uh, yeah, I like that line the most. There's a demon in me, and I think it might have overstayed as well. I've felt like that before. I can relate to that line because of how pissed off I've been. And I've been pissed for, like, a long time. My girl will sometimes tell me, she's like, you do realize you're probably, like, one of the angriest motherfuckers ever. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't try to be, but, like, some things in life, Especially when some things are so easily avoided and it's just because you have to deal with people that want to be dumb. Not dumb people, but people that think it's fucking awesome and cool to be dumb. And so, yeah, that shit just drives me crazy. But, uh, the instrumentation's fantastic. I think the only negative thing I can say about the instrumentation is, uh, the vocal sample of the lady going la, 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 the whole time. And honestly, it didn't really stand out to me and fuck with me until the end. Like once the actual bass stopped and the, that vocal sample kept going, I'm like, man, you could have faded that sample as well. But there and again, it's not a bad thing. I, I'm just trying to... Uh, that's one of, like, if I could talk, in the Metalhead Envy series, that's my main thing, is, like, just talking about reviewing, and reacting, and talking about the things that come off the top of my head. But, yeah, I gotta give MVP to Ruby. Not knocking Scrim's bar. I think Scrim's bar and Cadence is really cool. Normally, Scrim is, I think, the one that I kind of lean towards, because I like the whole, the, the... The voice for Scream. But then there and again, the more I listen to the boys, it's like Ruby's starting to pull some really crazy cool tricks out of his sleeve. And I got to give it to him in this one. His cadence, his his flows. I liked how he had nice change-ups. Uh, I think his voice was on point for this one. Yeah. Burgundy is badass. <laughs> that song is fucking hard ass, bro. I want to find somebody. I got a buddy I work with that's got like two 12s in his vehicle. I'm going to be like, yo, man, you have got to play this shit. I want to hear what this sounds like with the bass. Just boom. <laughs> fucking bumping. Oh, all right. Yeah. I think I got to listen to this a few more times. Especially I the 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 whole second half. Cause even when he comes in, he said what does he say? Got the coop doop 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 And then doop 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 Yeah, that motherfucker killed it in this one. If this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. And like I said at the uh, start of this video, if you do have a song request, please swing over the community tab, Metalhead Emmys Round 5 Suggestions. That is the best place to put your request. It's the easiest way for me to keep track because I do get so many requests nowadays. And, uh, yeah. I can't think of nothing else to say besides stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.